lately -ly. back with another video y'all getting a car talk on a monday morning because i said hey you don't know what's gonna happen for the rest of the week so let's get going um the theme for the day is love is in the air or is it so you all know last week um Last Thursday, Serena Williams tied the knot with her um, fiance, I think his name is Alexis, who was also the father of her child. They had um, their ceremony in New Orleans. Um, it looked really nice. Um, she had the baby on display as well. And uh, she had three uh, wardrobe changes. Um, some of the guests had includes um, Beyonce and her mom, Kim Kardashian, and a lot of other um, celebrities in the house. I believe her sister was one of her bridesmaids or maybe perhaps the maid of honor. And it was a star-studded affair. They got married on the 16th of November in remembrance of the groom's mother who had passed away, I believe, nine years ago. So it was really nice. So, you know, congratulations to Serena and her um, new hubby. Of course, there's a lot of backlash. And it's so funny that when an African-American woman takes on a white man and marry them, all of a sudden it's... Um, a problem. I mean, people using the term as bed winch. I mean, but a uh, black male, there are always a number of black males that are always, you know, with white women, you know, especially athletes and celebrities. And not even celebrities, just common day folks. You see a lot of black men with white guys or you go off to college and you see the white girls tend to go after the black athletes. and But all of a sudden when the black woman wants to step out of her race to date and get married, it's a problem. So that's what I really have. If that man is treating her right, you know, I'm all for it. But, oh, he's not common. Oh, he's not Drake or what not this. I think Venus was going with Drake or whatever. But, oh, it's not Drake. Well, maybe she did. It's not common. It's not Drake. And so, um, it's love who you love. You know what I'm saying? Love who you love. And that's all that's matters. As long as that person treating you right. And, and caring for you and he's going to be a good father to the child that's all that really matters so moving on um, Jordan Sparks popped up in People Magazine they did a little story on her she is married and expecting her first child by late spring um, she's actually married to a guy I believe he's a model and the story behind them is that their parents fixed them up um, they met at the Super Bowl last year, I believe. And um, things took off, and now they um, are a family, a, a fa happily married family. And um, the article is in People Magazine if you want to check it out. You know, she said she didn't think he was her type, but, you know, she gave it a chance, you know. And she's happy. So that is really good for her. Sometimes love comes when you least suspect it. Sometimes love comes um, in a form you did not expect. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Never, one thing I'm learning, you know, sometimes, you know, we can be superficial about looks or whatever, but he's a handsome guy. Don't get me wrong. He's very handsome. We could be, you know, off based on looks or personality. And sometimes that kooky, quirky person, that's the point you, you pose to be with while we're so focused on Mr. Popular or Miss Miss Diva, you know, the one you need to be with is probably the one, you know, that's least expected to be the one. So, but, but uh, congratulations to her. And um, last but not least, you all heard the news, and I don't even know if it, it this was like breaking news on the, the 10 o'clock news channel 
Uh, Jennifer Hudson has split from her fiance, um, Otega. What's his name? Is it George Otega or Jose Otega? Uh, you knew him. You first got to meet him when he was on I Love New York as one of the context, uh, contestants. Him and Jennifer Hudson uh, took off in a romantic affair, and you know she. Um, you know, after she had the tragedy with her, you know, the death of her family members, him and her did expect um, bring into the world their first, their first and only child. And um, sources say they've been engaged for nine to ten years. That's a long time, y'all. That's a long time. I don't, you know, I was looking on the Facebook post and people was talking about, well, why do people feel like they got to put a time frame on things? But nine years, y'all, nine to ten years, that is too long. And it's, it's not like they are poor. You know what I'm saying? They're not poor. I know people who have stretch engagements to two or three years due to financial constraints and want to have a nice wedding and all that good stuff. But nine years, y'all, that's too long. That's too long. I feel like this. You get engaged. You got six months to a year to turn on um, to get a wedding together. That's how I feel. That's just me personally, especially with me being in my late thirties. I don't, you know, and I'm not interested in being engaged for engaged for two to three years. So, moving on with them, um, Jennifer Hudson um, has a restraining order against her fiance. You know, he's a known, um, you know, he was um, pursuing a wrestling career at one point. He is an attorney. And a lot of people say they wonder if she didn't marry him because she didn't want to be like Mary, you know. But they was, you know, um, that guy, he's, um, a, he's a lawyer. He's a licensed lawyer. Um, when, I think he went to Harvard Law School. So, um... I mean, he's not coming from a shabby background, you know. Well, I wonder because he was a lawyer, was she afraid he would probably clean her out or whatnot? But that's when, you know, a prenuptial agreement comes into play. But I don't know. And sources also come out and say that she are she was dating somebody. So it was infidelity. And it was, um, you know, on her part, they said she was messing with some guy and that's sometimes I think that's why you don't need to leave the engagement um the engagement trail open either because you just need I feel like it leaves room for error too it kind of leaves room for error you've been I don't know but they are calling it quits they call it quits and she has a restraining order so hopefully they can come together for the sake of you know their son and you know some people are mean and nasty they was talking about well when she was the the, the fat uh jennifer huss said you know she didn't care and say she lost that weight she you know been changing her mind and all this type of stuff so she uh got a little attitude she lost the weight so i don't know i don't know maybe they could work it out maybe it ain't meant to be but i bet you this I bet you the next man come up that she get real serious with, I watch she marry him. Cause sometimes it just happen like that. You could be with somebody for a long time, and then if you gonna speed up, speed up. You could be with somebody for a long time, and then all of a sudden, um, this new a new person pop up, and all y'all married, and and it just takes off. So watch, that's gonna happen. But um, that. Um, it's pretty much it for the like the little celebrity news. So we getting ready for the holidays. Um, just want to encourage you guys. You know, as I said before, you know the holidays. It could be the happiest time of the year. It can be the saddest time of the year. So I want to encourage everybody to be encouraged. For those who lost family members this year, and these gonna be the first set of holidays that you don't have your lo um, loved one. You know, just you know. It's okay to cry. It's okay. Get it out. You know, nobody, it's not a time frame on grieving or, you know, getting over somebody. You, they say you never get over them. You, you never get over them. I mean, you just learn to live on, but you never really get over them. But, you know, just remember the good times, um, be in prayer, um, surround yourself with your family and good people. You know, so you all can celebrate, you know, the memories and the joys. Um, 
And if you know someone who are who is experiencing the holidays without their loved one, you know, be a beacon to them and, you know, you know, give them a call, make them laugh or, you know, share a note of some, give them a little token of I'm thinking about you. You know, we can make the most, you know, so that way this won't be so rough on the holiday season. I also, I will also just, you know, get out. Don't just, you know, stagger them on the house. You know, get out and do some activities where, you know, it don't have to be as expensive. It could be as light as you want to make it. Um, if you just want to go downtown and see the Christmas tree or, you know, you know, go catch a movie or just have a little cocktail or something with some family or friends. Um, but just make sure you, you know, not just, you know, putting yourself, stick, sticking yourself in the house and just moping around. So... Um, that is my encouragement for those who are, um, you know, going through these holidays without family members. So, I put um, did an online webinar called Single for the Holidays. Uh, I don't know if you keep, um, but it's by um, an organization called Mi uh, Mary and Young. And uh, Jamal and Tasha Miller are the founders. But they were just, um, just... You know, had a lot of sessions on how to navigate the holidays being single. And they're just telling you, don't worry about what family say. Don't worry about friends say. You know, be okay and confident in knowing who you are and what you want. And don't let people's timelines and agendas force you into making decisions that are going to end up not good for you in the long run. And, um... It was really good. It was really good. It also talked about, you know, how to meet people and go to things and how you're going to end up at different events meeting people and how to navigate that as well. So I said this this year I was going to, you know, try some different events. Um, they will, some of them will have fees to them. Um, but I did want to try... Um, well, one event I did want to go to is the 100 Black Men Christmas holiday um, thing. And it's $25, and, you know, your um, the proceeds um, goes to, you know, toys and, you know, the charity of, um, you know, contribute to, you know, needy kids doing the holidays for toys and clothes and stuff. So that's, um, that's what the proceeds is going to. So I said, I want to try that out. Just a different network of people. Um, the 100 Black Men, it's not a fraternity, but it's a male organization with a lot of prestigious men, prestigious men in different areas of industry. So just to go and check it out, network, and meet some different people. Um, so I said I did want to try, you know, what I'm, my goal is to try to do a different event activity um, a week, even if it's just the... Um, you know, I got my regular stuff that I will attend during the holiday season, but I also wanted to try some different things. And um, my calendar, um, it's not full to capacity, but it is stuff popping off almost every weekend, starting this weekend until now. So I'm just trying to, you know, you know, keep myself at a at a good fun busy. That's why I call it a good fun busy. So that's what I'm doing. And um, I'm not worrying about not being with anybody. I mean, trust me, I want to be with somebody. So don't go there. I'm not giving up. I'm just trying to focus on me and be the best me possible. So when my time comes, which I feel like my time is coming, y'all. I feel like I'm now taking the steps um, to be in position to meet my mate. And I want to meet a good mate, a good person, a good man, got good character, good morals, good values, got a great work ethic. I don't just want to meet the dude that's trying to shoot the breeze. And so, yeah, I am, you know, looking forward to 2018, trying to get work on that stuff now because they said don't wait till January 1st to start your 2018. To start your 2018 now. So, um, yeah. But that's it. That's all I got. Stay tuned for more videos. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get these subscription numbers up, guys. Um, trying to get to a thousand. You know, I got started. I got to the five hundred. Now I'm trying to get to a thousand, guys. So, um, 
share this video as well encourage people to comment and subscribe and like as well um happy thanksgiving i hope it's a blessed time i hope that you find some in life that you are thankful and grateful for you know you know be grateful for what didn't happen as people tell me be grateful for what didn't happen be because you walking slow be grateful for, for the things that did not happen and be grateful for the things that has happened. Be thankful for what you have. If you're going to have food on your table, be thankful. If it's heat in your home, be grateful. You know, sometimes we, you know, look at how our lives are not as extravagant. It ain't about that. You got, you got the necessities. You know, they say God gives you what you, God will give you what you need. And he also give you what you want. But as long as you got what you need, you are okay. So, that's it. That's all. Once again, like, comment, subscribe. Happy Thanksgiving. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.